All right, we are back. Uh, picked up right where we left off. It's very late here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to uh, hang in there and make some sense as I speak. Uh, but I really want to get this all uh, done in one sitting this evening instead of having to uh, split it up and come back on another day to get this all done. I think... How many across is this? Let's get our wooden frames out just to make sure. Six. That's a lot of weight up there. We may change the design up of this wall um, down on this end. I, you know, I don't think it's going to matter, but... Uh, So we're back to expanding the base. We uh, got a big portion of it done last time. Not much left now. Uh, just some, you know, finishing touches to get it all done. Really crossing my fingers that I don't cave this in. I'm a little nervous about that. I think I will build. Hmm. I think I'll build this up a little bit before we dig out too much more. Nice 10 levels left. So we have 129 skill points. Let's take a look. Let's assess this before I get too crazy with it. There is a lot of weight on that, and I let it hang over a bit to give us that indention to put things, but we actually had this row here for an indention. Uh, we could wrench that stuff, and then we have to tear all of our storages down once again. Uh, I don't want to really get into all of that necessarily. I do kind of believe this is going to be our base to stay in for quite some time, but uh, maybe we, how can I do this? Maybe I can make this into concrete. Uh, just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here for support because this is getting pretty long and well, the way I had the overhang, we do have some support there in the center. So I won't take that out like I was thinking before I would. We'll leave that the way it is, just like so. And that should give us enough support that we can dig into this wall and do what we did before with the uh, with the wooden blocks. Uh, the indention in the wall, and that gives us more space under here to move around, kind of keeps things out of our way. I always like things to be neat and tidy uh, as, as much as I can afford to. just reading a comment a moment ago back on episode five that there was a face in the dirt that I dug up and made it look really funny or something. <laughs> I got a good chuckle out of that because it really was a face in the dirt. So. Okay. And we're going to go one more down into the corner beyond that. Maybe, or maybe not. Down here we didn't. We built the wall straight across. So let's look at it like that. See what that would look like before I nail anything off. Yeah, I mean, 
it gives us space to do what we need to do. So I guess I will do it that way. And what we're going to do here in just a moment, folks, is I'm going back to that hardware store, or uh, I'm sorry, the bookstore, and we're going to loot that because I think today is the day that we can go back and loot that hardware store. We'll take this floor out and add our own floor. Maybe put the storages in the floor this time to save space as well. That is room for four forges right there, so... You know, if we did it like that... That will give us the forge with the fire on top. And then... Storage in the ground. Instead of up on the wall. I like the new signs that they've added into the game so you can label things. They're also going to make it so that those big box storages uh, are plain colored. They don't have writing on them. So let's see where that airdrop fell down. Goodness, where did it fall? Okay, it's right over there. Nice. So we'll go grab that when we go to the bookstore. Something like that, maybe. Put our forges uh, right here. With the fire on top, let's take a look at what we're going to do with this side over here. Whoops. I don't think I'm going to, you know, what we can do to just make sure we don't expand too wide and everything caves in. I think I will make this wall. Yeah, it would look silly if I did that, though. I'm sorry. I'm just planning in my head, you know, when I'm playing by myself or on the server or something, I have all the time in the world just to kind of sit around and think about things as I do what I'm doing and... Just kind of thinking out loud here to myself exactly how I can do this and make it look uh, nice and be efficient all at the same time. You know what? So before it gets much later, let me get over to that bookstore and see if we can loot that bookstore. We'll come finish this off uh, during the evening hours. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, without further ado, let me... So I do have crossbow bolts on me. Let's dump this stuff in here. And take off over there. Let's eat a meat stew. Yummy, yummy. We're just going to waste one for that last 8% to help get our wellness up. And we're going to take a sip of some goldenrod tea. Okay. So we have our axe, our crossbow. Let 
Our tree farm is coming along. Looking good, looking good. Nice. We'll be enjoying the uh, benefits of that here very soon. some more crossbow bolts too and get our weapon crafting up you know I could put another a new engine on that auger as well a good engine we have a good one here 371 engine some fuel right there okay well let's go ahead and take that so we don't forget the fuel and the engine don't think I need anything else that's in here right now uh, we'll just stick this stuff like so. And let's run up into this hardware. It's pretty quiet over here right now. There are no zombies or anything. Oh, so it has been much more recent than I had imagined. I should have gone back through and watched those episodes. No big deal. We'll run on over to this airdrop and get it since we're over this direction. Oh man, I thought I was going to kill her. That was a shot with the crossbow and three whacks with the club to get her. Sometimes they go down fast. I guess it depends on if you hit them in the head or not. Sometimes they go down fast. Sometimes it takes several shots. See, one shot to the head and she was done. Look at all the bullets on her. Come on, mini bike. We need the mini bike. Oh, we got a sniper rifle. That'll work. Still not very good quality, so we won't be using it uh, anytime soon. That's where we were digging out our sand down there, if you remember. I thought that was a backpack or something. So I have this... Uh, sound coming through my mixer from my PC to my mixer and into my headset and boy it sounds incredible mixed uh, like that coming out of the mixer into the headset nice I think I dumped my hunting knife off at the base we'll have to axe this bad boy Here up by the bookstore. A lot of wildlife around this area, the uh, where we have our base. It's excellent. And we haven't even really gone out of our way to try to hunt animals. Uh, normally, I don't get a lot of animals unless I'm on my mini bike and then I make a ride, uh, you know, across. Uh, out into the forest biomes and whatnot, but I'm, I'm eyeballing this airdrop, and without beer, we may cut it real close, especially if I keep stopping for the wildlife. Maybe time here in the near future, once we get this base renovated, to look into, uh, you know, we, we have the hub city, but looking into another town such as this one, 
Uh, another place that we can go. So I feel pretty confident there's going to be another one. There's two airdrops over on this side. Wow, they're right by each other, too. We just are not going to have enough time. I didn't bring any beer or water. Should have grabbed uh, some of that yucca while I was over there just to give me an extra boost. There's a garage we have not been into either. Thought we had pretty much covered most of the uh, most of the area, so we'll have to get ourselves a bit of a break once we get this. And this is another reason why you want to bring frames with you, ladies and gentlemen. At all times, have some frames because you never know when you're going to have to nerd pull up to something like this. Okay, let's look at this other one. So we still have a little bit of time. <clears throat> We're not that far away from it. Let's say we go for it. Oh, here it is right here. Wow. All right. Beautiful. Mini bike. Come on. No, but look at all the patterns. Oh. Good stuff there. That flaming arrow is not bad either. I think we have these two already, and I don't use the rocket launcher, but I will use that pattern to... Uh, you know, craft a uh, a rocket launcher to sell to the vendor once we get them up to high enough quality. So let's make a beeline back for our base. No dogs recently. That's nice that we haven't had to combat any dogs. Oops. And the passing gas. There's the bank over there. Now, we can wrench the rest of the cars that are around here. I <clears throat> kind of like keeping them for loot, but... How far is that airdrop? Oh, that airdrop's right there, too. Let's go nab that booger. Before you know it, it's going to be 2200 and I'm going to be like, why did I go get those airdrops? <laughs> oh, another deer. A distraction. Oh, one right over his head. Oh, I think it hit the bush. If he runs, then it was meant for us not to get him. Oh, he ran. So we're just going to get the airdrop. That was a bunch of missed shots. That was awful. We're not going to take theirs, the airdrop right there. You know what, sucker? Mm, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yes. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get our oil shale mining on. Make a little place over in the desert. It's beautiful. Everything's progressing uh, nicely now. It took us a little while to get started. I tried to get out of my comfort zone with uh, the style that I was playing in and uh, I moved a lot slower than I normally feel like I would. Oh, Mr. Piggy, we have to be very quiet, quiet as we move on the Piggy. Come here, Mr. Piggy. Where do you go? Whoop. Oh, I got him. Run, Piggy, run. You cannot get away from me, Mr. Piggy. Whew. 
Beautiful. So we made a pretty huge round there. Um, and still going to be back in lots of time for safety in our base before nightfall. Speed the decaying process along. Chicken! Oh. Well, that is huge. That is a huge uh, achievement by getting the mini bike pattern. We can now, once we get our forges back in place, make ourselves a mini bike and, and ride out of here. Instead of being on foot every day, it's beautiful. I'll stick that in there. Pain pills as well, and that, and that, and this, and that. As a matter of fact, let's just stick all this stuff in here. Since our uh, storage space is a bit jumbled right now, all of the things that don't fit in a miscellaneous category, that one storage that we didn't take down. Let's do that with it. Gosh, well, we still had plenty of time to, uh, what, we picked up three airdrops? There's not much anything useful in any of them except for the mini, the, uh, mini bike book. Uh, nonetheless, it's worthwhile running over and picking up. So let's go back over here. I think our food, yes, our food and send this one. And our first aid and water is in this one. Bullets as well. And we'll put our hide in that one. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Set, so we need to go. take this corner out and do what I'm doing here but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway just uh, for the sake of doing it and that's gonna give us a five space there am I right with the walls yes I am that's a decent space I, you know I don't think I counted on that all right good it's just an extra forge extra location for a forge at least Too worried about uh, you know the supports back there not just being wood and or frames because we have a lot of support everything supported well now should be good let's see so the forges are actually gonna go there let's take this one out 
that there and take these out. That's going to be our storage space. Whoops. All right. Let's make it all the way it should be now. gonna bother me all right nice gives us plenty of room to do what we need to do up there as far as all that goes so before I well we kind of need to get these forges back in place and kicking uh, pretty soon could always wrench them again if I needed to you know I have seen people do that I've seen them stick them like up there and upside downward in all sorts of funky ways you know you can stack one on top of the other if you needed that many if you had multiple players on your server uh, so two three we could just do the same three um, You know what, let's just do that for the time being. Let's just do our normal three that we had before. Um, oh. And... Okay. Let's get all of our clay and iron is that all the iron that we had? I thought I had more iron somewhere. You all are probably looking at like the video saying, he destroyed every piece of iron that he had. You know, I really thought that I took it out of the forge uh, and it gives you back scrap iron, but it's not a lot of... That's enough. But I don't know what I did with it. I guess, you know, we just used a bunch of it. And that's all that we had left over. So we really need to jump on that. Uh, I didn't mean to run myself quite that low. So we're going to do iron on this end. I'm going to get you going. And I need to get uh, my things in there as well assess this one more time I don't need that in that one okay I mean I guess I guess that's all we had I, I must have gone through a serious amount of um, of iron storages so that's going to be 40 and we need to do oh. we need 30 more after this one and while that's getting ready let's go on up here and take care of what we had going on take the tops out first just in case uh, you know the a screamer comes in here now that we have that forge going at some point 
I'm going to have to cycle to one short video so we can get back on track with the time that we had before. I was ending at a specific time before the videos, but I made one longer um, so that I could get that Horde Knight in completely. And, uh, you know, another thing we can do before we take this down is get our spikes. There's a zombie running at us there. Oh, he's dead. So we get our spikes in place. Let's, uh, let's do that. We need nine of these bad boys. Without actually having to go to that body despawn or what happened? I think it did. Let's get all of these down to just one shot. <clears throat> if I needed to, I could throw the nail gun on them real quick and bring them back up enough to hold. Uh, though I don't think I have to worry about the zombies too much. I'll just run to the other side. Uh, zombies aren't really known for their intelligence. And uh, coming this way, they're just going to come the direction that I am standing. What we'll do at some point is we'll go up top <clears throat> and we'll take these blocks out uh, from up top. These blocks up here. The one mistake you don't want to do is oh, you don't want to make this pit so large that zombies come piling in it and you cannot manage, you cannot maintain it. Uh, you don't want to do that because it's very easy to, you know, make it so that it's too large to, to manage. You don't want to make that mistake. I certainly have made that mistake myself by thinking bigger is better. Uh, bigger is not always better. Triple check before I seal her up. Everything looks good. Now let's go get our scrap iron and yeah, bring that with me. I'm going to put an engine in here. We'll come down and do those storages here in just a moment. But let's get these upgraded. Good. So, our wood frame is back on us. Oh, whoa, what am I hitting there? Why is it hitting that? Block above. Hitbox is still a little screwy on here. <clears throat> we'll 
save that rebar. We don't need to use that down there. We want to go two back, so we need one more that way. <clears throat> so we'll have plenty of time to get more scrap iron before the 28 day hoard. We still have four full days left to manage all of that. Mm, I kind of don't like this gravel up top. <clears throat> this gravel up top is very questionable as to how it falls out when you're digging on it. there to see how that's set up. Pretty fortunate so far, no screamers or anything like that have come at us while we're doing this, so it's plenty of plenty of time to work and get done what needs to be done. we need to take out here real quick. So we have to go one more back. Uh, tools spam crafted as well because I need to get where I can one shot the dirt block with a shovel. It's leaving one hit point, you know. Once I get that pummel or that uh, minor 69 or that issue will be taken care of, but I absolutely need to get the uh, pickaxe up to a level so as it takes out a stone block in two shots instead of three. <clears throat> see here mm -hmm. okay take this one more row out and we are completed with the wall there we have to build ourselves a bit of a ceiling it's 3.40 in the morning, so almost 4, and we can go up top and take care of that. Alright. Yeah, we'll go up top and take these three blocks out here, connect them all. How are we doing on wood? I think we have 
One more stack down below. want to maintain a too wide gap around the pit is what I'm uh, trying to accomplish here. Uh, you definitely want to be able to have two to step back away from that uh, spike pit. Plenty of room to you know, move around, back up from them, especially when the cops come. You want to be able to stand back from them. So let's see what I have in my inventory here. Put our scrap back next to our steel. Stone in right there. For the time being, I think we had the place over here for the stone. We could still stack. No, well, that's okay. The sand. And our dirt was right there. Okay. So we may have just finished it in time. Let's look at 70. I need 20 more nails. Okay, now oh. we'll do we'll do all nine of these. I can just label them how I need to. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, take a bite or two of some meat stew. And Golden rod tea. Our gas we can put up over here. Okay, there's our storages. So now you'll see what I was trying to accomplish with the storages. Then we need three of those. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And I should be far enough down because the cop is up on that block. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd probably still die from a cop down here if I were underneath. Uh, that's okay. Um, Could have put supports on those corners, but I think the walls are good where they're at. Um, you know what? I just made a boo-boo, but that's okay. I think I'm going to change it up. I'm going to put my food and first aid there. So let's make 30 more nails. Let's put our rebar up. We don't need that right yet. I want to look into spam crafting some more tools soon. And I want to get over there and get some oil shield to have that mini bike and then once we get the mini bike we can we'll be you're gonna see my progress just double or triple in time because we'll be hitting all the stores we'll find new cities uh, we'll just you know we'll have it all figured out so you know let's see something real quick I don't think I've ever tried to take a spoon let's see how many nails I need for this Four. So six. Okay. Hopefully, you all are following along with the. Uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here, it's uh, OK, 
Okay, then that looks a little nicer, a little neater. Things uh, all have its place. I could put another my second cement mixer right there. I could put another. I don't really know. I didn't need have a need for another workbench, but I could do a cement mixer there and one there, and be pumping out fertilizer. And we can eventually make all of the trees uh, fertilizer. So the sign. We're looking at a sign. Let's craft. nine of those bad boys now that the question i had was no nah, we can't do what i was hoping i was going to label the ones on the floor <clears throat> but this is good enough oh shoot okay well, that's fine it just broke <laughs> all right so here We'll write iron. Here we'll write brass, lead, glass. And here we'll write stone. Okay. So. I need to make, let's label cement, iron, brass, and whatever. This one's going to be cement. You know what, though? Let's, let's not. Let's not. Let me, let me delete that. We'll just put them in. We'll put them in the storages directly in front of them for now. I, you know, I don't think. In other words, we'll put our iron in there, our brass and lead in there. Let's let's go ahead and sort this stuff out. Uh, I need to make a mini bike frame. Chassis, I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll make the chassis. We'll get our food back sorted again. Which will be uh, pretty easy. So I'm just going to do exactly what you see right here. We'll put the beaker and the dirt and the fertilizer in there as well. So we use the left one for food. Cooking pots and our beakers. Nice. Uh, leave. Well, go ahead and sort that. Put the uh, steel scrap iron in there just to get it out of that container. Uh, then we'll take our water. Our goldenrod tea beer. And our first aid supplies. those in here. jars wait a minute oh my gosh it's so late ladies and gentlemen I'm, I'm sorry I apologize about 
being scatterbrained, you know, I, I'm looking at it and I know what I want to do, but my brain is not sending the signal to my hands to do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I apologize. We better keep this on us, the uh, bandages. Eh, maybe some first aid too. So, painkillers there. Concrete. Uh, let's go ahead and get our water in our So uh, OCD, I know it really doesn't matter, but uh, kind of does. You know, it makes you a little more efficient if you sort things properly other than, you know, just slapping it uh, anywhere uh, all the time. So we can take this clay, put our anvils back, our brass, our lead, our tool and die, all that stuff. We'll even put our forged iron uh, in there as well. So our brass. We won't be using for quite some time. Give us a place to uh, stick all of that though. When we do acquire it. Uh, let's look at our our forges. We're actually gonna put those in there. And I guess we can stick the caliper in that one just because we have one. So the stone. The cement mix. pool resources like this normally uh, when I play I told you you know I was playing a little bit out of sorts and I am uh, but uh, I will eventually uh, stockpile a bunch of things like this and then uh, just build a massive structure you know I'll save up all that I can save up um, can I hold all of that almost Let's get our stone kicking on one. Brain is not firing on all cylinders right now. I'll eventually make one for, uh, you know, clay and all of that as well. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's make this storage here. Nothing but stone, because that's what we're going to have probably more of than anything. Though it does take two stacks versus one of everything else uh, to make cement. Okay, well everything is semi-sorted. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave that one stone like that. Well, I really appreciate you all bearing with me while I did this. Uh, it is time consuming, a bit painful at times, uh, but also very necessary uh, that I do it. I'm 
And that way, I, there's no guesswork. I know right where to click when I need something, especially if I'm in a pressure situation. Uh, there's no, there's no guessing. Okay, so we'll stick our hoe in here. That's where she needs to be. Throw that little axe in there just in case of emergency. <clears throat> so we have a little bit of fuel. And we can make ourselves a mini bike. Let's look at the what it's going to take. Uh, handlebars. Mechanical parts, leather, short iron pipe. <clears throat> we should have all of that. Oh, duct tape, duct tape. Whoops. I wonder if she's going to see me down here and scream. Most likely, it's okay. We'll see what it takes to make the nice and blue electrical parts. I should know all this stuff by memory, folks. I'm sorry that I have to sit there and read uh, almost all of them. I, it's, it's really kind of silly, but the later it gets, the slower my uh, brain wants to make things happen. Okay, so we got that. Let's look at the next piece would be mini bike seat we need three cotton I think we have that yep I, bet I just got a few of those specifically for that mini bike seat at some point uh, when we were able to uh, craft it I kind of imagined it would be sooner than this I uh, probably should not have used up that little bit of gas we had uh, for the auger, um, but it's okay. We'll be all right. We'll get our mini bike tires that we had somewhere, maybe up above. Mm. You know, at this point, I could go over there and get all of those engines and combine them and make a really good engine. Uh, we need one engine for, we're going to take our wrench as well. We need one engine for, that's good, a chassis. I'm believing that I put those mini bike tires up top. Let's see. So we have a bunch of sand and stone right there. Let's get that kicking, folks. Let's not hesitate on that. I still need to sort that before the next horde. Let's get our cement mix. Put that in there. I just want to have tons and tons of concrete and just make this into a reinforced concrete bunker as well as uh, steel. Uh, we were, steel's going to be a little close, um, cutting it close. So it is 1241. We still have plenty of time. Let's cross our fingers that I put my mini bike tires in here. Now I had some, I must have stuck them in the, you know, you all are probably watching this episode like, dummy, they're right there in front of you in the storage. You looked at them three times. <laughs> uh, we'll just go ahead and get some new ones. Okay. Mmm, -hmm. 
Fisher Price, my first mini bike. Take that 